Did you know that when God wants to speak to you, sometimes he makes you do something stupid, which will compel you to run away. When Moses killed the Egyptian, the story is Pharaoh wanted to kill him, and therefore he had to run to Midian. But do you know who is behind the story? It's God. God wants to speak to Moses, but Moses cannot hear while in the Pharaoh's house. And Moses does not seem to want to leave his comfort zone. Therefore, God must make him. Moses had made mistakes, but the mistakes were not big enough to make him run away. So God must now make him do a mistake that is big enough that will compel him to isolate. Therefore, Moses kills an Egyptian. And when you kill an Egyptian, the end result is that you are also killed. But do you know what is in Midian? In Midian, there is a tree. Say there is a tree. There is a tree. Where, God Where God stays. And God has been waiting for Moses to come that he can give him instructions. But Moses is staying in the fellow's house. In that house, there are many gods. In that house, there is enough food. There is plenty. And there are many people there. Therefore, God cannot come and speak to Moses while in the, in the Pharaoh's house. He must isolate him. But even telling Moses, move from Pharaoh's house, Moses cannot hear because the environment cannot allow the voice of God to be heard. Therefore, God must make Moses to do something stupid. Say something stupid. <laughs> Are you learning something this morning? Because why something stupid? That will now get into the conscience of Moses and make him run away. While Moses will be running away, who is waiting for him? God. Sometimes you ask, can God speak to a man that has already killed a man? What if we planned for him to kill that man so that he can have him? Every story you read in the Bible is not without God behind it. And it's not without a lesson for you as a believer. God was there. He withdrew his presence and permitted Moses to do something that will compel him to be isolated. Sometimes when you are isolated, it is not always the devil. When the devil wants to kill you, he can isolate you. I agree. But when God wants to speak to you plainly and clearly, he will also isolate you. How does he isolate you? He will make you do something that will naturally isolate you from the people that you are used to. You will have less to talk to them. They will have less to talk to you. And therefore, when you are alone, you will be hearing God clearer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes when God wants to speak to you, he will take you away from the place you are used to. It will take you from where there is plenty and take you to the place of humility. The place of humility, I mean, it can take you to the desert. Moses was staying in the house of the king, but he was humbled and he was taken, and the Bible says he went and sat next to the well of the prophet of Midian, the priest of Midian, Jethro. 
a man that used to stay in the palace is now staying outside without a house looking for mercy even though he's, he was a proud man because when you stay in the palace everyone salutes you everyone respects you but you are taken to a place of humility that means that is a place where your language will change the bible says when Chetro's daughters came to draw water for their camels and their animals Moses had to make a request to help them he was already humbled why does God has to, uh, have to humble you because he doesn't speak to complicated and exalted people they can't hear him he must take you to a place of humility meaning sometimes he can withdraw all the finances from you he can cause you to miss rent he will take you to a place of humility he can cause you to to lose even what you believe in he can withdraw plenty Because at that place of humility, you will hear him. Tell your neighbor for me, God will take you to the place of humility. Mambia, when that happens, as it is happening, please understand. One thing you need to note is that at the place of humility, it's very difficult for you to pray, but very easy for you to hear God. You must note that. When you discover you are in a situation where you cannot pray, you try, you are defeated. Take your time. God could be speaking. When we talk about the place of isolation and humility, we don't necessarily mean physical transfer of location. We may mean circumstances and conditions that make it impossible for you to be complicated, but they compel you to be humble. The journey to isolation might not be the very best, but the end result is the best.